Yeah. Interesting fun fact about koalas. Their babies eat the mother's poop, right? That is exactly right. That is exactly right. Well, good morning, guys. So, last night I slept so hard. I'm still recuperating from being in the outback, but I'm here in Castle Hill. It's a suburb of Sydney, and I always walk up to this coffee shop here. It's Cosmo Coffee, or as close to coffee as the Aussies get. This is a British Commonwealth. They're tea drinkers, so coffee really isn't their thing. There's no percolated coffee anywhere in this country. Well, that's not true, but it's hard to find. But I've got my coffee, got my Blueberry muffin. Today we are heading up to the Australian Reptile Park. It's a place I wanted to see last time I was here, but we just simply didn't have time. So today we're gonna go do that. Super excited about that, but for now I'm going to sit here and enjoy my Aussie coffee and my blueberry muffin, and I'm gonna watch the world go by. We're off like a prom dress to the reptile park. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> like a prom dress. You don't have prom in. You don't have prom in Australia. No, we don't. We have um. I don't know what it's called. Some bullshit. Off like a bullshit dress in Australia. Awesome. Oh, you want to put here. your bags down and you have a little wander around and then chat or yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Alright guys, we've arranged a private tour, so let's go in the big crocodile here and check this place out. I've been to a lot of reptile parks all over the world. This one has one of the coolest displays. I mean, the attention to detail of this place is absolutely amazing. Check this out. They even have stalactites from the ceiling. This is really an incredible park. one of the coolest reptile houses I've ever seen. So, oh, this is Spider World? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. We call it world. Welcome to my world. Come on, sing for me, baby. Yeah. Welcome to my world. We call it Spider World. Alright, that was awesome. <laughs> I've used worse. Alright, so the spider house absolutely ruled. Let's move on to see what else this place has to offer.
continue our tour and we're gonna go play with some koalas. So this is behind the, this is off limits of the public here. No, right? no, no, they can come here, but they don't go over the fence. We'll put you guys over the fence today. This is Ali. Uh, hey, Ali. How you going? Here, uh, koala G'day. here for us. So what we'll do, we'll open this one. We'll put you guys in there. You can have a feel around, a bit of a touch and all that sort of stuff. No Great. Problems, but uh, by all means, go in there. Ali will look after you. Wonderful, thank you. That's all right. This is May. Hey, May. Ooh, you're on the good girl. So she was hand reared here at the park, so she's quite used to us um, handling her. Koalas. <laughs> this is the first koala I have ever touched, I think. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> now, how do these guys do on a 15 hour flight in a suitcase? Just hypothetically. <laughs> they might be sleeping. <laughs> they might be sleeping the entire way. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> they're so, they're like, they're, they're a lot softer and fuzzier than I expected them to be yes. actually. A lot of people might think that they're quite coarse fur. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite fluffy. Yeah. So their fur um, actually crisscrosses over each other. Yeah. So when it rains, the water just falls off them. It doesn't actually get absorbed by the skin. So right, it's right. Nice and warm. You roll right. back your neck to look like one of those little sleeping yeah. cushions. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so May lives at the zoo for now. This is checking so your, awesome. Your bags when you leave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Interesting fun fact about koalas. Their babies eat the mother's poop, right? That is exactly right. That is exactly right. So what else can we say about our koala friend here? A koala friend? Um, so <clears throat> she can hear you quite fine, but um, she's got very poor eyesight. So she can hear me quite fine, but she has very poor eyesight. That's why she's letting me get so close to her. <laughs> this is so amazing. I like scaly things, but fuzzy things aren't so bad. Look at the size of those claws. So Allie just told us that koalas have two thumbs. <laughs> two thumbs. <laughs> she thinks you're a fly. You, oh, I'm a fly. <laughs> and I look and I jump like a... Oh. Next time it's gonna grab you with that <laughs> I'm just like... What a reaction, isn't it? I do. I like play with snakes all day long, but a koala like flinches and I flinch. <laughs> Oh, so neat. This is how we hold them. So it doesn't hurt them at all. They just got very strong wrists. We don't pick them up like a baby because all this is very delicate. So this is another little one that we got here. Oh, what a cute. So she's just over one. So what happens is we'll leave her in here for the day and she'll go back over um, to her mum at nine. And then eventually she'll, she'll stay in here. Awesome. She's very cute. <laughs> so she doesn't have a name, but we need a T name. We need a T, something, something starting with T. Some people think Tilly, Tilly's pretty name, but she's a lot like her mum. What about 3PO? 3, 3PO. <laughs> so this park just got better. Allie just told us that right over here, she just saw a wild diamond python just sitting out here. So we're gonna go check it out and see if it's still there. All right, so he's a little inaccessible, but that is a wild diamond python hanging out under the shade block in this cage here. Yeah. No worries, I'll go um, get a radio for you. Yeah, because I'll climb okay, up cool. there and I'll get him. I need a taller ladder. No, you can check down. I grabbed him on that one that way. No, I guess I don't. <laughs> Okay, we got a problem here. I think he's really stuck in there. All right, so what's happened is you have these tiny little like one inch by one inch squares in the, in the gating here. And this very fat python just tried to squeeze in and now she's stuck. So we got to take something and pry it and open that hole a little bit to get her out. And I can feel her skin is rubbing raw here, so. Might not be a good thing for the girl, but we'll give it. Meanwhile, I'm about 30 feet up, just hanging on to this gate, trying to get this python out, and trying to keep my leverage. So, anyway, Zach here is on the other side, and he's going to help from that side, and we'll, we're going to get her out. We got some uh, hand lotion or anything? Anybody got any lubricant type thing? 
What are you looking at, Kookaburra? Come over here and help. There we got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah. Got her. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, she's got, she, she's gonna need some antiseptic on that wound. We can't release her. Yeah, she got, she got a little injured. All right, I'm coming down. How am I gonna do this and... Maybe wait. Do you want me to jump out and pass yeah. down? <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, I'm trying to hold on to her and come down the ladder at the same time. All right. Woo! We have success. This is a pure Australian diamond python. This is a lifer for me, and it's the single most beautiful diamond python I've ever seen. We now have a story to tell, don't we? Oh, all right, so we're gonna get her some antiseptic on that little wound. That's looking pretty gnarly. Yeah, she can't be released yet. So she's, you know, you picked a good place to get injured. Oh, so awesome. All right, we're gonna get her some help. All right, thank you for your help, Zach. Got it. Appreciate it. That's fantastic. All right, he'll be good for now. All right guys, so we're back at Adrian's. What an absolute incredible day. Finding a wild diamond python at the Australian Reptile Park. What are the chances of that? And then having it get caught in the fencing of that cage and having to climb up there and work him free, that was just incredibly awesome. But right now I am going to just chill for the rest of the day and just kind of take it easy, go through my video files and get everything kind of organized. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be driving up to Barrington, Barrington Tops National Park and it's a couple hour drive up there but we're gonna spend a couple of days up there and then we've got one full day left here in Australia after that. So anyway guys, awesome adventure. Target species caught at a reptile park you just you can't make that stuff up that is just awesome so anyway guys love the planet keep your life in balance and rattle on